Ela. Fault, Ram. How was I supposed to know Ella was going to give me a surprise birthday party? Well, you weren't me, that's the whole point. You were caught spanking the monkey, red face, fine, that case, please. Something like that, that. Wish these buggers would hurry up. I just don't know why people can't be more tolerant. Some men love other men. Some men love our mothers. I love melons. <laughs> people shouldn't have knocked a thing before I've tried it. You don't need to snog a melon, do you? Or, or, or take it out to dinner? Well, cos for me, spoke melon is dinner, and that's the end of it. I mean, you know, that's what there is to it, you know. Aye, 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 aye. But even scum like us can afford to run you a bit of fruit wrap. You see, a melon, a brown paper bag is it's like a mink coat. In fact, the mere I'm all at all, the mere I think I should be hanging about with exotic produce more often. I wish you'd take a wee stroll up Safeways and... Jamesy, you could shut up home with a hand of bloody bananas for all I care. Now, this, this here is the most important matter in my life at the minute, and I, I just quite like to compose myself. You know what I'm saying? What's your big deal? It's just... Mr Nesbitt, I'm ready for you now. The snap. Can I have a look? Of course. Oh my God, it's covered in hair. What? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> She's a wee peach. She? At least I get something right in my life, eh, Gash? You certainly did, pet. Now, can we get rid of that third year or is that there for keeps? Eh? <laughs> Bastard. Hey, that'd be a good name for her, wouldn't it? Bastard Lesbit. Don't be daft. She's a lassie, ain't she? Bastard days. Come here to your mammy, bastard days. There you go. Hiya. Hiya. She's beautiful. And she's wee peaches. Oh, she's gorgeous, isn't she? You can just eat her all up. Well, you can if you like, because we're fed up with her already. I <laughs> leave the bones for the middle and we'll get a canary instead. Oh, yes. <laughs> You've not thought of a name for her yet. Aye, well, we were going to call her after my sister, but the Wicked Witch of the West seemed a bit of a mouthful. Ah, so we decided to go for something that reflects her fun-loving lifestyle. Da, eh, what do you reckon to speed? Speed? It's a female, innit? But crack no be more appropriate. Oh, shut it, you. If you can't say anything pleasant, then don't say anything at all. It's all right by you, lady. You're not sitting here using your balls for a cushion. Oh, don't be so dramatic. It was only the snip. Oh, aye. For a man, it's a snip. It's a music hall joke. But if it happens to a woman, it's sterilisation and then they're counselling for 40 years. <laughs> oh, it's the same thing, though, doesn't it? Game over. I am now a weed in the herbaceous border of life. Oh, cheer up, Dad. I've got spunk enough for both of us. Oh, you stop that language in front of the wane. As a matter of fact, we have thought of the name. Have you? What is it? Peaches. Peaches? <laughs> Peaches Nesbitt? <laughs> hey, what do you reckon, Dad? Well, you may as well keep it in the family. After all, our grandfather's got balls like plums. Exactly. <laughs> Grandfather. Now, you're going to come over here and see your granddaughter. I'd need a bloody chairlift to get out of that flare than you. Anyway, I've seen newborns before. Face like an arse, shite at one end, dribbles at the other. Oh, she's a lovely wee lassie. Well, in that case, shite at both ends once she starts to talk. 
<laughs> Don't you worry about him, Hen. It's just a bitter old has been at the fag end of life. Aye, the cojones like two prunes in a string bag. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, uh, listen, Mo. Um, any chance of you looking after her for a couple of hours? It's just uh, Bridie's pals have laid on a wee celebration bevy for us. Aye, my dad's going to be there, so we don't want to take any chances. He's never been into preview peasants, but after a few pints, he's been known to pour jam down his trousers and kneel in the dog basket. Know what I'm saying? Aye, all right, all right, I catch your drift. On you go. Me and your dad look after her. We've had plenty of practice. Hey, thanks, Mo. Let's go. Oh, oh, watch now, watch now. Sorry, Dad. Couple of raisins on the carpet there. I didn't know what to step in them in case you got shooting pains, no? <laughs> <laughs> Cheerio. Oh, She's lovely. I can't wait to show her off. You want any nip room with me, Ellis? No. Nah. Come around to Andrews? No. Nah. Ach, can't you think it? Every will probably be in the pub. Get my jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Look, everybody! Gosh, she's new, baby! Oh, she's brilliant. Isn't she gorgeous? Look, everybody! Rab's new vasectomy! Oh, oh, oh! Bottom line, Nesbitt, was it sore? Well, for the first couple of years, it's it's like as if you've stood in the way and Alan Shearer free kick, but apart from that, I've no pain at all. And tell me, Rab, is it uh, back to normal? Oh, yes, oh, yes, pee up high walls, pick your bum out, all the old favourites. <laughs> hey, uh, I think what the small honey monster meant, Rab, was can it dip? Dip? Well... As you know, I'm a married man, so appropriate test conditions have not yet arisen, but speak to me around about the next World Cup, if we qualify, and I'll furnish you with an answer. No. No, that's merry pub banter, Rab. The boys have turned serious now. What do you mean? What do you mean? We need answers, Rab. After all, you're our guinea pig at the cutting edge of dick technology. Well, you go today, Nesbitt. We go tomorrow. Aye, maybe even tonight. <laughs> Rab? What? How's your balls? <laughs> you should know you had them last. What was it about you? I wouldn't be in this position today. What? Resting in your own home with a brand new gorgeous wee granddaughter? I know Spartacus isn't he in it, is he? Look, do you want a cup of tea? Aye, uh, so what she can do. Two sugars and four Viagras. I'm going to dip you until it glows tonight, lady. <laughs> That's it, Rab. You just keep that charm coming, eh? It's always melted my drawers off in the past, isn't it? Uh, bitch. <laughs> Mary? Mary? All right. <laughs> I'm your grandpa Rab. <laughs> and if you can cope with that without pissing yourself, you'll do for me, eh? <laughs> Boy, you're an ugly wee bastard, aren't you? <laughs> Mind you, I was ugly when I was your age, you know. <laughs> Look at me now, eh? <laughs> Rab? What? Bring you your tea, that's all. Right. What are you doing up with the pram? Well, I was whimpering, I just went up and gave it a look as if I was going to bat it in the jaw, you know, I soon got it. I'm going to put it past you. Oh, look, Rab, that's two o'clock, and there's no back yet. I'm going to take my tea into my bed. Going to watch the wane for us. What? Oh, well, if it's too much trouble, don't bother. Yeah, 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 there's enough whining coming for that pram without you joining in. <laughs> there you go, bugger off. Thanks, Rab. They shouldn't be too long. Me <laughs> 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 <Need> back again. Bitchy, <laughs> <sighs> yeah. 
Bitches in there, eh? I never believe it. Who is it? Oh, and the name? What's the matter? Look who she's got for a baby. No, we mention her tea. Some babysitter your mo is. Mo? That's no mo. That's big eat the breed. You know what? I think he likes her. How's she sleeping these days? Great. Oh, he hits the pillar and that's her away. Oh, do you hear that, Rob? Is that no marvellous? Oh, aye. A wee cold and she can shut her eyes and dribble. She's, I've been doing that all my life. <laughs> I don't know if I've been my CV either. Go on, Moy. Come on, Moy, what do you say? I don't know. Just for a couple of hours till we go and see the spook about the christening. The spook? What spook? Satan servant. Beelzebub's brother. Well, we've we got to bring her up to worship the devil and all his work. Did we no mention? No. Just for the first 20 years, then we'll step back and let her make up her own mind. Oh, my God! It's a wind up, you daft bitch. <laughs> yes! Oh, where you go, the Perry? Hurry up. Ah, oh, cheers, Ma. Crap. I've got a dirty big washing to do and I've all the messages to get in. Going to watch the wean for us. Hey, Connor, I'm getting up to the hospital and my balls looked it. What <laughs> for? Well, all being well, they'll shine them up with brass oil, you know I mean? That's the whole object of the exercise, isn't it? Oh, would you stop feeling sorry for yourself? I had to look after the contraception for years, didn't I? Crossing your legs and shouting shod off hardly falls into the same anatomical league, does it? Look, I'm not going to argue with you. Are you going to look after the way that you know? No. I don't know. Your very own brand new gorgeous wee granddaughter, eh? Oh, all right. Thanks, Ab. Are you in for mere tight ass pill? <laughs> All right, Ellen. Oh, hello, Rab. Good to see you there. Yes, you back again, eh? Yogurt treatment still no working. <laughs> Always the joker, eh, Rab? <laughs> Mr. Nesbitt. That's me, boss. That's me. That's me. <clears throat> oh, by the way, if any of you are in for a vasectomy, don't bother your ass for pish. I had one last week and look what happens. <laughs> Spend the money on a holiday and a right good hum shank. That's my advice. When you're ready, Mr. Nesbitt. Aye, aye, I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> so tell me, how'd it go? Very well, thanks. I've got balls like walnuts. The nurses is tickled pink. Who's talking to you? Oh, forgive me. I made the mistake of thinking I still had a bolt there. <laughs> and I got to the arm. Ugh, ignore him. It went great. We met the spook. He goes to me, do you believe in the Lord God and his son, Jesus Christ? I goes, certainly. As long as he keeps his neb out of my business, live and let live. Then he said the same to Gash. I kind of hesitate to ask, but what did you tell him? <laughs> the truth. Said I was an atheist. I might be wrong, son. I mean, I've no formal religious training, but it seems to me if you want your daughter brought up a Christian, then a basic belief in God is a kind of minimal entrance requirement, no? Not in here. But take what they get her in here. I mean, buy an Easter egg and you're practically canonized, you know? Oh, shut it, you <laughs> Right, guys, come on. Bottom line. Game on. We've got ourselves a Christmas. <laughs> Let's celebrate. We're going to have a free party party. Yeah. <laughs> I, I see, that's what we've been meaning to ask you, Moss. See, yeah. Uh, we're going to her dad's just, just for a small bender. Uh, you think you might? Nah, no way. Rab? What? Watch the wane. We're away to wet the baby's head, then her neck, then immerse her entire body in cheapo sherry. Come on! <laughs> Thanks a lot. For somebody that's no good, you're no bad. Pops. Hey, aye. No taking her up the pub. What can I allow you take me for? You know, Rob, I've been thinking. Having a vasectomy is quite a courageous new millennium man thing to do, really, isn't it? When's she got you booked in? Fortnight. 
No, 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 no. We talked about it, and in the end, we both agreed that I should... Do as you're told. Covers it for me. What can you do? Once I've got their sights set, I... I'm lucky. Isa's got me pencilled in for a heart attack sometime next year. So she'd like three more twins like last time, as insurance, just in case. <laughs> How the hell do you get three twins? You should have seen the one with the heed. The butt string between its ears, you'd a turn up lantern. Now, I'd like your advice about something. Sure, what? It's Ella. She's having an affair with a guy for up the allotments. How do you know? She gave me this note. Dear James, I'm having an affair with a guy from up the allotment. And she enclosed this tomato as evidence. Gee, yo. Oh. That's a bit brazen, isn't it? Do you think it's maybe double bluff? Ah, we've been married 20 years. We started a double bluff. So we're looking at least at a triple, which means that... Ah, I like... Why oh, isn't here? That's my granddaughter greeting, Jim. It's actually time for a walk, you know. You'll get some thought, will you? Aye, sure, Jim, sure, but anyway, just leave it with me. Hey? <laughs> <laughs> This is Nesbitt country, as far as the eye can cry. Your grandpa was brought up round about here. I, I used to chalk on this very street, you know. Oh, yes. See, if I was a mother, I used to chalk in extra bodies just to piss off the CID, you know. <laughs> you had to make your own entertainment in them days. <laughs> Go on. I should feel quite a heavier. Dead stones. Dead stones. <laughs> oh, everywhere you look, a Nesbitt at regular intervals. Great thinkers will tell you that's why we people have children in order to cheat death. No, if you're scum, of course. If you're scum, you have children so you can have somebody to run for the fags and the milk, you know. <laughs> oh, you can't cheat death. You just. They've just got to go with a flow. <sighs> Grandpa's no sleep, by the way, and he's just kind of resting his eyes, you know. Just resting his eyes. Lost her? What do you mean you've lost her? Well... One minute I had her next. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right, all right, all right. Just keep the heat, keep the heat. Worst things can happen. Then losing your win? All right, lose the heat, lose the heat. <laughs> if you ask me, he's behind it. He's never liked the win. That's garbage. I love that win. It's you I don't like. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? I'm born in a polis. Oh, don't do that. For God's sake, are you mad? I don't know. Well, they'll blame us, won't they? I mean, we're scum, and we look like inbreeds. <laughs> they'll assume we've eaten them, they'll start digging up the floorboards. But we're innocent. I know, but that's where I keep my drugs. I'm telling you, Da, see if we don't get the wane back. I'll swing for you. Don't you worry, son. If we don't get that wane back, I'll swing for myself. My family? My family? I know, Hen, at times like this, you need your family. No, I know that. There's only one set of bastards mental enough to do something like this, and that's me. But I'm your sister. I love you. Cut the crap. You've always been trusted. Oh, I like that. You just bait them in and suddenly you're suspect. Ah, company. <laughs> company? Are you sure you've got the right horse? Da, I've got some bad news. The wane's vanished. Oh, no, I've just got a new suit for the christening. <laughs> oh, for God's sake, I'm sure we've got a sensitivity. Oh, you're right. I should have remembered how I felt when I lost her mother. 
I got her back again. She'd just nicked out for a loaf, but gave me a bag 20 minutes. You know? <laughs> what are you going to do? I don't know. It's as long as we don't get in daft. Too late. I've done it. I phoned the police. Oh, my God. So, <clears throat> there's just one thing still puzzles me, Mr Nesbitt. Why did you leave it so long before you reported this? Well, I didn't want to waste him this time, did I? I wanted to exhaust every avenue of failure before I finally gave up and came to you. Do you think you'll find her? We'll do everything within our power. Well, take that as I know, then, eh? <laughs> Please excuse my husband, officer. He's had a very stressful day. Plus, he's an ignorant arse. That's all right, Mrs Nesbitt. We're trained in the handling of such matters. I dare say it's been a stressful and traumatic time for all of you. That's reassuring to know. Good. So in that case, you'll no mind if we dig up the flare boards, you criminal bastard. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Already done it. What can happen in a day, isn't it? And obviously it's all my bloody fault. At least the God did snatch me instead of her. Then at least we'd know who we were looking for, you know. <laughs> An 18 stone frustrated mother that wasn't choosy. <laughs> all we know is she's out there somewhere. Where are you supposed to look? Where do you look? Step first thing this morning. What does the note say? This is an anonymous tip off, but if there's any reward, please contact James Cotter, 5 Restitution Street, Women. What's in the hole? It's an address. Looks like I'll not be needing these after all. Oh. Righty. <sighs> she really is quite gorgeous, isn't she? She's got grandma's eyes. And her grandpa's ass. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God she doesn't have to wear it for a face like I do. <laughs> and who are the godparents? Oh, we couldn't manage to lay our hands on anybody normal, so we managed to get a couple of dog parents. That's the dog father. All right. And that's the dog mother. And honest, I'm no shagging him. It's just family. <laughs> uh, sadly, his uh, wife cannot be with us today. She is uh, at present finger painting in a medium risk twilight zone near Motherwell. <laughs> yes. Leaving me tragically alone, but open to offers. I'm afraid not, Jamesy. She's got a bloody cheek. Oh, shut it, you. Well, Mary. Rab. Yeah. Couldn't your family get Zelda's back? <laughs> what can I say? Hands up. I didn't a heed her off the deep end. I was being treated for depression. Mind that time I met you up in the hospital, Rab? 
It was just a wee Lenny, that's all. I'd have brung her back. I'd like to thank you too for no pressing charges. No bother, Ella. After all, why lose a good babysitter? Babysitter? Oh, why no? The way we look at it, Ella must really like the wind. Otherwise, she would never have kidnapped her. Aye, it's a compliment, really. Round here, she could have had picked for thousands. Is that wisdom, Mary? <laughs> Is the world not talking to itself? Changing time, Sab. What can you do? Get pissed. Well, it's no Dr. Spock, but I'll do for me. Oh. Done it all, eh? Marriage, wains, grand wains. What next? Oh, a couple of hip replacements, heart attack, two arms on the mantelpiece. <laughs> How's that grab you? Oh, uh, better make key while we can, eh? You game? Oh, I suppose so. <laughs> I warn you, you'd better be good. Honey Jews are in season right now. <laughs> 